that's what police are telling us. They believe that is what happened just moments before the crash. I want to show you where she ended up. She ended up just behind me in front of Hambones on the sidewalk, but we want to show you where witnesses say she got onto the sidewalk. It was actually in the 4300 block of Butler Street. Witnesses say she drove all the way from the 4300 block here to the 4200 block hit the pole you see not far behind me there and that's where she came to arrest and where she hit three people according to police. Let's go ahead and show you that scene just shortly after this crash. The crash was a little bit after two o'clock this afternoon and investigators tell us that the driver of the car was 20 years old and they believe that she had a seizure when she drove her black Jeep Liberty along the sidewalk. Now it's obviously a very sunny day, a nice day outside, a lot of people outside along Butler Street walking around, enjoying the weather, and several also witnessed what happened. You know, I've seen, I've seen, you know, people just screamed and, you know, you know, it just happened in such a blink of an eye. You know, the vehicle was wedged in between the parking meter and the window. I'm surprised that it didn't take out the window. Police tell us that the three people who were hit on the sidewalk outside Hambones were taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Now, as for the woman behind the wheel, witnesses tell us that she was still here at the scene. We did see a woman about 20 talking with police. We believe that that was her, according to the witnesses, and she appeared to be uninjured. Once again, though, police believe she had a medical emergency before she drove on the sidewalk here along Butler Street striking three people, sending them to the hospital. Reporting live in Lawrenceville, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Marcy.